Hey, Rockford Jake here. Today I'm joined by Mark from Comfort Keepers of Rockford. How's it going, Mark? Hey, it's a nice snowy day today. We're looking forward to more snow coming in. Right. <laughs> so exciting. Looking forward to it. Not maybe the words I would choose, no. but we are getting it whether we like it or not. So, sure. um, so for those that don't know, tell me a little bit about Comfort Keepers and what it is that you do and kind of how you go about doing it. Yeah, Comfort Keepers is part of a national franchise. It's an independently owned office here in Northern Illinois, Southern Wisconsin. And for us, we provide in-home non-medical care for seniors predominantly, not always seniors, but mostly for seniors. And the idea is, is that how do we help them live happy and healthy in their own home is really what we do. Yeah, so it allows them to stay in like their home and a place that is comfortable to them and familiar to them, but still receive you know quality care. Right. Um, I mean, sure. I mean, there's so many different things that what we like to do is talk about how we provide interactive caregiving. And so the idea of that is that doing really with our clients as opposed to just doing for them. And so the idea of, of meal preparation, maybe working with them to help and assist them, bathing, transferring, you know, uh, companionship, uh, errands that need to be done that can't be handled alone. So these are many types of things that we do to help caregivers, once again, stay as independent as possible in their own homes. Yeah, that's awesome. And so with uh, the baby boomer generation getting older, we're seeing just more and more seniors needing this care. Of course, yeah, that uh, we are continuing to see an aging of our population, and and yet we all want to maintain as much independence as possible. I mean, nobody wants to always ask for help, but sometimes we need it just so that we can stay safe and we can stay as long as possible in our own homes, which is real where everybody wants to be. Yeah, and so with um, the aging population, we're seeing a demand for with more seniors means we need more caregivers. We do. We do need more caregivers. I mean, we're always looking for empathetic, caring individuals that you know, really are there and wanting to help seniors live safe and happy in their homes. Um, you know, we'll deal with individuals that may need just only slight companion care all the way up through 24 seven dementia care. You know, so for us, it's really a, a variety of different types of skills. The vast majority of our caregivers are, are female. However, we do have several different males that are, are involved in caregiving as well. So it's an opportunity for both male and females to really give give to our senior community in a way that it was really heartwarming to you individually as well. Yeah, I was just going to ask kind of like what are some of the traits of someone that makes for a great caregiver? So anyone who's watching this video that can self-identify can reach out, maybe learn more about what's entailed. Yeah, I think one thing that sometimes is a misconception is that you need to have certain medical training or skills. I mean, while certainly that's that's helpful, it's not necessary. We are a non-medical provider, so that means we are licensed home care facility in Illinois. However, we'll provide training, we'll provide all the experience and tools that you need to become a great caregiver, which what we need you to come with would be just an empathetic, caring heart. That's one of the biggest things that we really need to have because, you know, it's difficult sometimes dealing with someone's conditions and the challenges that they face, but ultimately we want someone that cares to be there and can be that companion for our seniors that helps them stay happy and healthy. Yeah, and with um, with that comes a lot of flexibility in terms of uh, being able to be a caregiver, right? Like it can be a nine to five, but not necessarily. You no, know, Jacob, that's right. I mean, the, the idea is, is that we provide services 24 seven. And yet what we do is we work with your schedule. And so you're saying, hey, I only wanna work 20 hours a week. But what we'll do is we'll then try to pair you up with clients that are looking for services during the time period that you're available and that we can get on the schedule then that allows you to, to live the life that you need, but also then uh, work, work the time that you have available and can give to our senior community. Yeah. And so whether you're a, a student that's you know pursuing a medical career or an empty nester, just looking to give back and get out of the house and serve the community in a way like it's kind of the whole gambit, right? Absolutely. And the thing is, is that, you know, we've had, we've have, and we still have caregivers that are on that path for maybe a CNA or a nursing degree, medical assistant. Uh, oftentimes they need those hours available to do client care. And this is one way of doing one-on-one -on -one care in a, in a home setting that provides great experience for anyone wanting to go into a medical profession. We also have a number of caregivers who are empty nesters that just decided they weren't ready to, to fully retire and, and wanted to have an opportunity to work with other seniors. And so that is another great opportunity because again, we're not requiring any specific time period you have to work, but we do work with you within your availability. And we're always, always looking for individuals to, to provide caregiving because we always need 
uh, more caregivers to help with our client base. Yeah, absolutely. So if uh, if somebody here is, is watching the video and they either have a, a, an aging relative or friend that needs care or they're interested in learning more about being a caregiver themselves, like where can they go to get more information and get in contact with you? Yeah, no, you can go to the Comfort Keepers website. It's comfortkeepers.com. That's the national site. If you either just then search for Rockford on the national site or if you put forward slash office dash 198, you'll come directly to our website comfortkeepers.com forward slash dash 198, office dash 198. And so the idea of that is that there's lots of information on there about caregiving, what it takes. You can apply online right at that spot as well. You can see what opportunities are available. And we would welcome the opportunity to talk to you if you just want to have a conversation first. Awesome. Well, thanks so much, Mark, for taking the time to get together and chat. And thank you, Rockford, for tuning in. I just want to give a real quick shout out to all of our business sponsors and our backers that make content like this possible. It's because of their support and support from people like Mark and organizations like Comfort Keepers here that we'll be able to bring you all this Rockford positive content for free through the power of the internet. So thank you so much to them. And we will see you on the flip side. Bye, Rockford.